Hey, Owen here with a quick little Saturday Q&A, so let's answer some questions. Owen, did you get a haircut? Who is Kendall? Is Kendall taking over quick hits? Kendall is my friend from uni, and you should recognise her because she was on the live stream. Well, I, I forgot to put stuff in and now I'm panicking. It's fine. Basically, she wanted to have a go at someone else's hobby while she was at uni. Scale modelling. So I was like, yeah, sure, why don't you try and make a quick kits video and see how easy it is. So she was up for that. She went for it. And I think she did a really good job, as I said in the uh, comments and stuff. I'd like to thank everyone for their support and um, encouraging comments. I've passed them all on to her and she's very happy with them. Some of you noticed that Kendall sounded very like me when she talks. That's because uh, I scripted all of that because as it was her first model, she didn't really know what she was saying, so I wrote it for her. But hopefully she will be back for more videos, and next time I'll let her write her own script. So no, Kendall is not taking over quick kits, but she might be back for a few more videos. Everyone, thank you for supporting Kendall, and I think we should continue to encourage everyone of all ages and genders to take up the hobby, because I think it is a very enjoyable and rewarding thing to do. What are you currently working on at the moment? At the moment, I am still working on the PZL P11C, still, um, because I went away again with my family this time for a week, so I haven't been able to do anything much on that. However, it's over there. The decals are applied. Um, I've just put a coat of Humbrol matte coat on it, um, using that for the first time. And I've got a question coming up on that later, so more about that in a bit. What's the next video going to be on? So just before I was recording a video on how to make a wet palette, which is one of these things. I'll obviously explain what it is more in the video, but it's a very useful tool to have. I've been using it on the PZL P11C and it's pretty awesome. So look forward to that coming out on the 16th. Yes, on the 16th wet palette video. And then after that, it'll be the PZL P11C build. Are you going to build a model ship? No, I'm not going to build a model ship, unfortunately. No, I'm joking. Um, great joke. Um, I've got the 1 to 700 scale Revel Bismarck. Um, it's the 2010 moulding. And looking through the box, it looks pretty nice. It's interesting because on the box art, these planes are not very well molded on the box. There's little photos and they look very blobby and not well molded. So I think these photos on here must be of the old tooling. I'm not certain on that though. If you don't follow me on social media, I'd recommend you do. Uh, the links are in the video description and I'll probably get around to putting up an inbox review on this uh, on social media and I'll mean you can get a closer look at the sprue and things because I can't show you very well on this webcam. Soon I will begin working on the Bismarck and it will be my first ever ship not including the Revel Titanic that I built with my dad when I was quite little. So first ever ship in many years. So along with the Revel Bismarck I've also got some Revel Aquacolor paints so that'll mean I can give them a test and a review and see what they're like. So. I'm branching out a bit guys, I'm trying. Why are you now recommending modeling filler over general purpose smooth finish filler? In the last video you said, don't use general purpose filler, but didn't give an explanation as to why. Okay, so basically I'll put some photos up because it's easier to explain that way. But the general purpose smooth finish filler, although it has a smooth finish and it seemed to have worked quite well on previous kits, but on the English electric lightning that I built, you can see here that it's quite it's got a very gritty texture even though it is smooth finish whereas if I compare that to the deluxe materials perfect plastic putty which is uh, specially made for modeling purposes you can see that it hardly has it basically looks like plastic um, you can see here so as well as getting an almost plastic like finish the deluxe materials perfect plastic putty can also be thinned with water um, so you can make it thinner if you need and the other advantage is it's already pre-mixed. So with the general purpose filler, you have to add the filler and then you have to add the water to make it the consistency that you want. With the modeling filler, it's already pre-made. 
as well as deluxe materials uh, I know that Vallejo make make a uh, modeling filler so that might be worth checking out what do you think of Humbrol matte coat here it is well um, as I said earlier I've just used it on my PZL P11C and well I thought that it was water based because if you read the labels on it it says nothing about it that's useful apart from that it will kill you um, so I thought it was water based and I opened it and smelt it and it smelt a bit oil based so I was like I'll still use it anyway I had read that some people say it leaves it dries with white patches on the model so what I did was I put it in a warm water bath a sink of warm water for a little while and gave it a good shake and I've applied it to the PZL P11C so far it seems alright but it apparently takes 24 hours to cure fully so I'll only be able to tell then tomorrow and apparently it doesn't yellow like some varnishes do so I guess that's an advantage of using it over a varnish. The consistency seemed alright and it seems so far to have made quite a nice matte finish but again I can't say properly yet um, it is a bit annoying that it's oil based because I wanted to do an oil pin wash over the PZLP 11C to create discoloration in the paintwork. I think I'm still going to do that even though it's risky that the thinner in the oil paint will eat into the matte coat. But I'm going to give it a go anyway and see what happens and pray for the best. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I might change my mind. <laughs> Try and convince me otherwise in the comments. <laughs> Hopefully in the PZL P11C video, I'll be able to give more of a review of what Humbrol Matte Coat is like. So far, seems okay. So I think I'm going to leave it at that for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative and useful. Uh, get talking to me in the comments below, that'll be pretty cool. And I'll see you next time in the wet palette video. Just as I'm editing this, I realised that I didn't answer the question on haircutting necessarily. Had a haircut this morning, £7 in Ormskirk. Boom. <laughs>